Hi there, and welcome to this video on setting up your account in Hallmaster. It's important that you've got your account set up correctly before you start making bookings. So we've created this step-by-step -step guide to help you navigate the setup process. Let's get started. It's a good idea to take the time to set up your account correctly at the beginning. Thankfully, at Hallmaster, we've made the process intuitive and quick and follows a simple logic. So, if you're the hallmaster of your venue, you'll be able to follow this guide and start taking bookings in no time. We'll first go through the setup wizard before running you through some of the extra setup steps you can take afterwards. By the end of this video, your venue will be ready to take bookings, make invoices, and do business. When you first register your hallmaster account, you'll be greeted with this welcome page. Simply click on the green button and the setup wizard will guide you through the basics of the setup process. Rooms. The first section in the wizard is where you can set up your rooms or facilities. Make sure you list each room individually rather than making a single room for your whole venue as this can lead to double bookings. You'll see that some example rooms have already been added. You can either keep these, change them or delete them and add your own. We're going to delete these using the red dustbin icon and add our own meeting room. You can check this tick box to make the room visible to the public in the booking calendar, or leave it unchecked to make it only visible to the venue admins. You can also check this tick box to allow customers to book this room. Add any other rooms associated with your venue. Remember, as with every stage in this setup process, you can always come back later and change anything you'd like. Click Save and Continue when you're ready to move on. Price Rates This is where you can create your higher charges for each of the rooms you've just set up. You can set up different types of rates for each room if you'd like. Like the previous section, the wizard has already made some example rates. These are made up of rates common to many venues, such as standard rate and a discounted rate. Each rate can either be fixed or hourly. This can be toggled here. You can also vary the rate depending on the time of day. We won't go into this now, but this is covered in our other video on setting up price rates, which you can find in the description below or on the Hallmaster YouTube channel. For now, we'll change the standard rate for the meeting room to £12 per hour. We also want to add a new price rate, which we can do by clicking the green plus button here. We can then name this new price rate. This one will be a charity rate. We'll set this to £5 per hour. Now, whenever a booking is made and the charity rate is selected, the booking will automatically charge the customer this charity rate. We'll do the same for all the other rooms here. Click Save and Continue when you're ready to move on. Activity Types This next stage is where you add your activity types. Again, for a more detailed look at what activity types are and how to use them effectively, watch our video on price rates and activities, which you can find in the description below or on the Hallmaster YouTube channel. In short, activity types are ways of classifying the different kinds of activities that happen in your venue. You can assign an activity type to a customer. This is useful when creating reports to see things like which kind of events generate the most income, for example. Again, like the previous sections, the wizard has generated some example activity types. You can use these or replace them if you wish. We'll keep the ones that are already here, but add one of our own. Click Save and Continue when you're ready to move on. Line items. Line items are extra charges that can be added to your bookings and invoices. For example, you might want to add a charge to a booking that covers admin fees, extra equipment, or tea and coffee. Again, you'll see that some default line items have already been added by the wizard. Keep, change or remove these as you wish. You can create a line item group under which the individual line items related to that group will be available to add to your bookings and invoices. For example, you can see here under the extra items group heading, we have charges covering tea and coffee, table and chairs and audio equipment. If we wanted, we could add another line item to this group to charge for projector hire and set the cost of this to £20. Or we could create a new line item group entirely, so we can charge for admin fees. You can choose whether or not these line items are visible to the public in the booking calendar using these checkboxes. 
For now, we'll keep the default line items as they are. When you're ready, you can click on Save and Continue. Administrators. The next stage of the setup process deals with assigning your venue admin roles. Here, you can add or remove administrators. As with the previous sections, the wizard has already created an admin based on the details of whoever set up this account. You can change this later if you wish. To add a new administrator, simply click on the green plus icon. You can then add their details. All you need is their name and email address. You can choose their specific roles later on in the admin section of your dashboard, which we'll cover later in this video. To send an email invite to the new admin, check this box. If you'd like to provide read-only access to an admin, you can check the box here. This will mean that this admin can only view information and not make any changes to the venue details, bookings or invoices. We won't be adding any new admins right now, so we'll delete this example. Once you're done, click the Save and Continue button. Optional Extras The next and final stage of the Setup Wizard is the Optional Extras section. These are all some recommended extra steps you can take that can help you get the most out of your Hallmaster account. You can either do these now or leave them for another time. You can always come back to these steps later from your dashboard. Here, you can set up your venue's terms and conditions if you'd like your customers to accept these before making a booking. Here, you can make it a necessity for your customers to provide their email address. Checking this box will add a field in your venue's booking form, which will require customers to add the number of people who will be attending their event. This will enable buffers automatically at the beginning and end of each booking. This is extra time before and after a booking to allow for things like setting up and clearing away. You can find more information about buffers in our separate video on how to create a booking, which you can find in the description below or on the Hallmaster YouTube channel. Next, you can add the physical address of your venue here. This will appear at the top of various correspondence with your customers, such as invoices, receipts and statements. And finally, you can add fixed time slots to your venue's available booking times. These restrict when the public is able to make bookings at your venue. These only apply to the public. Venue admins can still make bookings for whenever they'd like. Remember, you can change any of the information you've just entered during the setup wizard by navigating the dashboard. When you've entered all the information you'd like to enter, click on Save and Continue. And that's it. You're now ready to start entering your bookings. To finish off, let's walk through how to make your first booking, which includes entering the details for your first customer. After this, you'll be ready to go. Click on Create a Booking in the Next Steps box. First, select which room this booking is for. This example will be in the meeting room. Then, you need to type in the event name. Add a start and end date and time. And select whether or not this will be a recurring booking. This essentially means whether this will be a booking that happens at regular times every week or month, etc. We go into more detail on recurring bookings in our How to Create a Recurring Booking video, which you can find on the Hallmaster YouTube channel, so we won't go into that for now. Next, you'll need to enter which customer this booking is for. Because we haven't created a customer yet, now is a good time to do so. You can add customers via the dashboard, however you can also do it here quickly and easily, without leaving this booking. Simply click on this Add Customer icon. Then, fill in this short form to add a customer. Simply type in their name, email address, group name, which means the type of customer this is, for example the WI, the Scouts, or the Neighbourhood Watch, and their telephone number. Next, add the address of this customer. Then add the customer's activity type. This is the type of bookings the customer tends to make and helps you charge them correctly. Then you can add some notes relating to this customer in this box before saving the customer's details. The customer is now created and is saved in your customer details section for any future bookings. Now, when you start to type the customer's name, it will appear in the drop down menu automatically, so you can select it. Choose the customer's activity here. You can always add another activity using this shortcut link. Next you need to add any line items you'd like to include in this booking, for example admin fees, chair and table hire, etc. Next you can add a brief description of this booking. 
Then select the privacy settings for the booking. In this case, we want the event name and description to be visible to the public, but keep the contact details of the person making the booking private. Then you can add the number of attendees to the event. Add any special requirements, such as reminders for extra chairs or tables, etc. And any admin notes. These are private notes which won't be visible to the public, so the customer for this booking will not see this. Next is the ad hoc text box. Here, you can add any extra text you'd like to appear at the end of the booking email sent to the customer. For more information on this, see our video on creating a single booking on the Hallmaster YouTube channel. Once you're done, you can either click the Save an Email Booking button, which will email the booking details and confirmation to the customer automatically, or simply click the Save button. And that's it. Once again, remember you can change any of these details by going back to your dashboard at any point. We hope you found this video on creating your account helpful. Click here for another Hallmaster video, or click here to subscribe to our Hallmaster YouTube channel, where you can see more handy hints, tips, and tutorials on how you can get the most out of your Hallmaster account. Thanks for watching.